What is this? A glitch in the memories. There seems to be more data. Okay, Numskull. I can't pull you out of the chair right now. You'll just have to see this through. This is bizarre. These memories seem to take place some 20 years after the one we just saw. Are you certain? Positive. This means... Shay must have survived that fall. If he is the man I believe him to be, then he has. Keep going. The data is fragmented. This memory is incomplete. Let me see what I can do. Listen up. We need to find out what Shay's up to. This memory's gonna look a little rough. But I'm like 90% sure sequencing this memory won't kill you. So keep your eyes and ears open. I want to know the reason Shay came to this place. You heard the man. Let's move. All right, locate the criminals. We don't know where we are or what's going on. But I am your host, Sinistrain01, and we have more Assassin's Creed Rogue. I love it when the games do this. This is, I guess, sequence three, or maybe it's a bridge in between sequence two and three. I'm not sure. <laughs> Why do I feel like this seems more like Paris than anything? Maybe it's those little those little things that kind of make me feel that way. Et alors, vous l'avez trouvé? Ouais, Benjamin Franklin est à Notre-Dame. Si on se magne, on devrait le rattraper. Arrêtez de vous branler Allons-y Oh, yep. That's who Shay is after. Franklin traveled to England and France. And that guy said Notre Dame. Come on, now's our time. Time to show me what you got. Eliminate the threat. Protect Franklin. All right, we gotta hurry, though. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in Rome. Or not Rome, did I say Rome? We are in... Uh, Paris, France, which is really cool. All right, they're splitting up. Bastards. I've got a shot. God, he's so fast. Gotcha. Shit! What happened? That's all the data we have. We can't explore this memory further. For now. Shay couldn't have died, then appeared in France 20 years later. We're missing something. Shay's oh. memories are scattered in chunks throughout the cloud. The servers are messed up from the virus, so we can't access all of Shay's life at once. I bet I know what happened. I know how this bridges Unity and Rogue. And I'm busy with something. Why do you go meet Otto Berg? You'll find him squatting in one of the offices. Alright, so meet also Berg at his office. <sighs> I'm bored. Shay Cormac is an assassin. But he is unlike the ones you have used for your entertainment products in the past. I believe Shay may be the most important assassin who ever lived. 
Your research will help me achieve something I have wanted for a very long time. Shea Story may have something to offer you as well. There's another server we can access to get to the next chunk of Shea's memories. Excellent. I'm gonna need the numbskull back if we're gonna proceed. Your next task is clear. But please reflect on what we have discussed. So this is interesting. Well, we know we're obviously going to have to go and kill all of these guys. Well, unfortunately, we're going to have to probably kill Adewale too. Hope, Liam. I don't think we kill Achilles because at least Achilles is in the Assassin's Creed 3. Then, of course, we know William Johnson. We, I think uh, Connor kills him. And there's Shay. So now we're actually finding out how... Uh, how important Shay really is to this whole storyline. And it's it's such a shame that you find this out on Assassin's Creed Rogue and not the next gen version of Unity. Altair. I would like to see another uh, Assassin's Creed game with Altair or Ezio or something. Because they, I mean, we never really got to explore a lot of Altair. Working numbskull, meet me at the elevator. All right, so as you can see right now, I'm just kind of looking around. Should have some more things open to us here in a little bit once we get to this elevator, I guess. I got tired of waiting for Melanie's stupid repair crew, so I got this piece of shit working well enough to get you to the lobby and back. I'll get your animus prepped while you're downstairs. I've added the location to the next server on your map. Get going. Shit! I forgot. The server is behind a level one security lock. I have granted you level one security clearance. I trust there will be no further delays. Great! Now you... Triumph for the Borgias, yes. I loved Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Restore the servers. I'll load the next set of Shay's memories to your animus. All right, so I'm sure there's some things that we can pick up along the way here. Where is it at? Must be right here. It keeps disappearing. Maybe it, it disappears for a reason. There was something that, that was lighting up right here. Giovanni. <laughs> we get it, lady. Alright, so I guess we'll do some exploring later before we head back into the Animus. And you're in. Alright, I gotta remember how to do this. And there we go. All points ready. Begin. Go, go, go! Who are you? Don't you touch her! Oh, for God's sake, restrain him! You, give me the child. Oh, shush now. You're all right. Elena! Calm down, Mr. Berg. I promise you I won't hurt your daughter. Who are you? My name is Warren Vidic. I work for Abstergo Industries. 
You quit the Uti Yaga regiment and became a freelance mercenary in order to afford better care for Alina's cystic fibrosis. How's that working out for you? Arkele! I have an offer for you. I don't work for people I don't know. It's not that kind of offer. I'm going to remove an item from my pocket. What is that? This little pill? <laughs> it's actually for her. Go on, little one. Have some medicine. Stop! There now. Isn't that better? This pill will cure her. It isn't on the market, but it can be yours if you agree to participate in a little training program I put together. What does Abstergo need with someone like me? Oh, you won't be working for Abstergo. However, if you perform, Abstergo could work for you. I want one thing before I agree. Name it. That one there. He upset my daughter. I understand. Gentlemen, release Mr. Berg. Jenkins, give him your gun. What? Now! Yes, sir. Satisfied? It's a start. Ooh, interesting. Great job, Nuskull. Data we have is pretty raw, but it's enough to move forward. Get back up here, double time. It looks like restoring servers also clears the virus from some of the other systems. You are making excellent progress. I am eager to see what Shay will show us next. Level 1 clearance will also let you into some of the other parts of the building as well. So glad you to I went to university for this. Alright, so we're going to do a little exploring, of course. So now I'm actually starting to see how important this game is to the overall storyline. Guess there's nothing in here. These hand-drawn animations are fantastic! We're making good progress here. Oh, this one's a little... we got a splitter, okay. get them all matched up. It's what I want to do. I think it makes more sense to do that. Three one. You can only go through those specific points. So let's make the red. There we go. Let's make the red green up here. We'll make them on the sides. See, these will come through there. If only we can hit the bottom with this one. But in order to do that, we need to move the blue down to there. Let's 
stay there. Oh, yes, this is so difficult. I love it. Can't have everything on. We need to have some of them down. Again, we got the four. We need to get the one. So the only thing that I can say is the blue needs to be on the bottom. But that changes all of that. There we go. I keep that like that. This one. Yes. Do you care to explain what happened in Paris? Gavin Banks led a team of assassins to your laboratory and destroyed it. That lab was supposed to be completely off the grid. How did they find it? Banks is a known associate of Sean Hastings and Rebecca Crane, who have infiltrated Abstergo before. He is also not your typical assassin brawler. He follows information. They found a way to access your Helix servers. Nothing is off the grid anymore. That facility was dedicated to studying the sage we recovered from Montreal last year. If you had informed me of its existence, Sigma team could have protected your interests. Did you engage Banks' team? Sorkin and I tracked them from Paris to La Rochelle, where their ship was waiting for them. We fought, but we were outnumbered. Sorkin was stabbed seven times by an assassin we have identified as Galina Voronina. And you let them get away? Let's be very clear. I was trained to hunt and kill assassins. It was you who disbanded my team and sent me on a fool's errand across the surface of the Earth. I warned you this would happen. You know what? I can admit when I'm wrong. You have my permission to reform Sigma team. I need DaCosta back. Impossible. She's still in Montreal. Unacceptable. I've apologized for my oversight, Berg, but don't push me. The fact is, we need to find new sages. Alvero Grammatica tells me that Melanie LeMay has a few promising leads in Montreal. When will DaCosta be finished? She's ahead of schedule on security upgrades and firewalls, but Helix is a target for assassins, erudito, and the first civilization consciousness. So, there have been some setbacks. Is the building physically secure? There's security on site. Send me that. Oh? I thought you were too good to be wasted on such trivial matters. I wanted to cast her back on my team, and if that building is a target, I need to make sure she's looked after. I will also improve their security in my own way. Very well, I'll start preparing the necessary documents. Like DaCosta, you'll be a consultant from Abstergo Industries, there to help bring them up to speed on some new policies. In the meantime, send some extra agents to Paris. I suspect there may still be assassins lurking there. All right. Unlocking the mysteries of Assassin's Creed. All right, so we got two blues. So we can't utilize the blue on top because then we won't be able to go through the transparent blue. So if we can put it there, then we can hit there. There we go. Like Haytham Kenway, Daniel Cross came from an assassin bloodline, as the Orlov family had at least two generations who served the Brotherhood. Daniel Cross's history of drug addiction and animus-induced psychosis should not take away from his many accomplishments for the Templar cause. Under the influence of Warren Vidic, he was planted into the Brotherhood and earned their trust, eventually meeting their reclusive mentor. Then his subliminal programming activated, and he killed the mentor, triggering the first great purge of the modern age. Al-Mualim. Haras. 
Vali Sel Tradat, Baptiste, Duncan Walpole, Hatham Kenway, Lucy Stillman, Daniel Cross. These are but a few prominent examples of something I've always felt. That there will always be assassins who are willing to abandon their cause to serve ours. Yet there is no one who embodies this idea better than Sheikh Cormac. And I want the assassins to confront this painful reality. We are learning a lot. It says we're level security one. I don't see why we wouldn't be able to get in there. Uh, maybe because there's an error. All right, so let's head back upstairs and see what else we can do. This is where Sean used to work, right? Maybe he left a clue. We've already been in there. All right. Let's see what other computers we can hack into. Alright, so we're level one now. Let's see what we can get. Okay, we've already had access to this. Helix is still up and running, but it looks like there could still be some interruptions in the service. One in there. You know what authorized personnel only means, don't you? All right, finally. So we can only go in the level one. We can only go into this little section. <laughs> Which has nothing. So it doesn't really look like there's much we can explore else right now. We're only level one, so. Let's see if there's any more computers available to us, but it doesn't look like it. Here's one. All right, so we got a refract, so it kind of moves in a different direction, I guess. Wow, we're, we were so close, but we just need to go a little bit more that way. Oh, that sucks. So we got that one. There we go. Hey boss, calling from Germany? Yes, I am in Essen, searching for an artifact called the Ankh of Isis. Can you tell me anything about it? Give me a minute to fire up my machines here. Okay. Not much. There's an obscure file from the data dump scanner that mentions it. It was allegedly 14th century Germany, where an assassin named Lucas Zergberg fought a Templar offshoot called the Brothers of the Cross. <laughs> How original. That's the file that led me to this bland shitpile. 
Is there anything else? Anything outside of Abstergo official records? Nobody's ever seen the thing. There's all kinds of stories about its history. From Roman Gallia, Egypt during the Middle Ages, and even a cell of modern-day assassins. Oh. And it apparently raises the dead. Is there any evidence to support this? None at all. You know what I think? I think this is bullshit the assassins are spreading around so that people like us waste our valuable time sniffing after it. Smells like a trap. Agreed. Keep an eye out for new information about the Ankh. While it may not lead to an artifact, we may be able to follow the data back to some assassins. You got it, boss. Where are you off to next? Cuba. I'm going to excavate the observatory. All right. All right, I think we're good. It is time to move on with Shay Cormac's story. So I'm guessing we're going to be going into sequence three now with Shay. So hopefully you guys are enjoying, and it is time to hunt some assassins. Peace out, bitches!